You know those guys, those adventure touring guys, you know, ADV lifestyle, all that? They have like a laptop, like a sippy cup with a straw, GPS, phone, radar, all that crap. Well, look at me. I've now become that. I have my GPS and my phone. And the reason why I have a GPS is because you guys know if you watch this channel, I tour a shitload. I love it. I'm addicted. I've been all over the United States on two wheels and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I really, really enjoy it. So with that said, I'm also cheap now and then on some things, you know. And the Garmin GPS is $500. Yes, you heard that right, 500 bucks for GPS. And the problem is, I would use the phone for a little bit, which, which worked kind of, but it became cumbersome. It wasn't a dedicated GPS unit. And so the, it just didn't, you know, even with offline maps, data and this and that, um, I, I'm like, well, if I'm gonna keep touring so crazy like I do, maybe it's time to, um, you know, actually upgrade and get a GPS. So I reached out to GearBest and they sent me this guy here. It's 150 bucks. So it's much, much cheaper than an actual Garmin unit. And I've been using it for the last couple days. I'm really impressed and I'm not just saying that. You guys know I don't review bullshit stuff on my channel. I only review it if it's worth it for me, worth it for my subscribers and I don't want to sell out because I'm not going to review anything. I, I don't care. You know, I don't make any money from telling you about this. This is just something I want to bring to you because I feel that $500 is just way too much money for a GPS. Let's go into the pros right away. It is really, really fast. Like when you move the bike and you turn, it actually keeps up with you. Um, it's really hard to see in direct sunlight, even with the sunshade. So if you put your GoPro or your helmet, you can read it really easy. It draws big buildings downtown in 3D, which is really cool. Number two, it has your GPS indicated speed. Number three, it puts information on the screen for road laws. Uh, you might be in a new area that you're unfamiliar with, so it puts information for you saying, no right turn if it's a one way that way, which makes, it's wicked, it's really, really smart. Number three, it also gives you a speed warning. If you're speeding, it puts the, the indicated speed limit in a red circle for you saying, hey, it's speed limit 70 and you're going faster than that. It also detaches from this little hood mount so you can take it inside, type in your address for the next day and bring it outside with you. Also for theft reasons, because it does not lock in, unfortunately. I could use it with my glove, for example, so I want to find something. You shouldn't really be using it when you're driving, but um, you could bring up the, the menu with your glove, which is really cool. Find address, find POI, plan on map, all that fun stuff. And it's really responsive too. I did have to calibrate the screen though when I first got it. It was a little bit off, but with the calibration, it's really good. And another really fun thing, I don't really want to go much too into it. It actually runs Windows CE. So you get a little start menu and everything on it, which is kind of cool. And there's some other apps the manufacturers put on there for like uh, movies and music and it has Bluetooth and all that fun stuff as well. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, for $150, it gives you POIs, gas stations and whatnot. The only drawbacks I've found so far is sometimes it will lose you and say a weird message I can't quite translate, uh, something about how it can't uh, find you. You have to re-put in the address, which is weird. Maybe because it accelerated too fast because it's a Super Duke. I'm not even kidding you. I think it is. You accelerate too fast, it might lose you, which is kind of weird and it kind of freaks out. And number two is there's no real easy way to update the software that I can see to get new maps. It comes with Navtech 2013 maps. There's no easy way that I've found thus far to get 2015 maps. So guys, as you can see, the GPS has now switched to nighttime mode. So it's a little bit easier on the eyes, a little bit dimmer for nighttime. I just wanted to kind of show that to you. Really impressive, actually. 